Hello, second grade. This is module three, lesson 10. And our objective today is I can explore $1,000. How many $10 bills can we change for a $1,000 bill? So first, I've got some change here. Let's count up how much we have. Now remember, a dime is worth 10 and a penny is worth one. So we're going to count by tens first. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now we're counting by ones. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. I'm going to add another coin here. Now watch carefully and determine if we're going to count by a 10 or if we're going to go up by 1. So I added a dime. How much is a dime worth? Right, 10 cents. So I'm going to go up 10. So from 85 and 10 more is 95. Correct. <coughs> now I'm going to add some more here. Watch carefully. I added a penny. So let's count up one more. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So I added my dime there because I had 10 pennies. And if I take all of that away, 100 cents is the same as $1. So I exchanged all of that for $1. Let's continue counting. 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. How much do I have all together now? I have 105 cents. Or you could say that I have $1.05. <coughs> so we have a story here and we need to answer the question at the end. This story is about Jerry, who is a second grader. He was playing in the attic and found an old dusty trunk. When he opened it, he found things that belonged to his grandfather. There was a cool collection of old coins and bills in an album. One bill was worth $1,000. Wow. Jerry laid down and started daydreaming. He thought about how good it would feel to give as many people as he could a $10 bill. He thought about how he felt on his birthday last year when he got a card from his uncle with a $10 bill inside. But even more, he thought about how lucky he felt one snowy cold day walking to school when he found a $10 bill in the snow. Maybe he could quietly hide the $10 bill so that lots of people could feel as lucky as he did on that cold day. He thought to himself, I wonder how many $10 bills are equal to a $1,000 bill. I wonder how many people I could bring a lucky day Two. So now we need to answer Jerry's question. It was, I wonder how many $10 bills are equal to a $1,000 bill. So the first step we need to do is we need to figure out how many $10 bills are in 100. So let's count. We're going to count by tens because we're counting with $10 bills. So let's count by tens to see how many we get in 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So there are 10 $10 bills in a $100 bill. So keep that in mind, keep that in the back of your head, because now we're going to find out how many $100 bills are in a thousand. So counting by one hundreds now, let's figure out how many $100 bills there are in a thousand. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. So there are 10 $100 bills and a thousand. I think 
we just did how many ten dollar bills are in a hundred right and how many were there right there were ten tens or ten 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 dollar bills in a hundred so let's count how many of these tens for each of these one hundreds there are, there will be so there's tens here so there's ten tens here there's ten tens here so that's 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 so there are how many tens in a thousand there are 100 so we could give 100 ten dollar bills So here's another way we could answer Jerry's question. His question again was, I wonder how many $10 bills are equal to a $1,000 bill? So I made up a web here, <clears throat> and I put $1,000 in the middle. So we're going to count how many $100 bills would go into 1000 first. So here we go. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Now think back. How many tens did we say went unto 100? Right. We said that 10 tens go into 100. So let's count by tens with each of these bubbles to find out how many tens are in 1,000. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we, again, we found out there are 100 $10 bills in 1,000. So here's your turn. For your exit ticket, it says, Jerry wonders how many $10 bills are equal to a $1,000 bill. Think about the different strategies we use to answer Jerry's question. Answer, th answer the problem again using a strategy you like. Use words, pictures, or numbers to explain why that strategy works. Also, if you can think of a different strategy than what we've used, use that one. <clears throat> when you're done, take a picture and seesaw it to your teacher. Good luck.